اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In this session we are going to look into how to use split file and select cases in SPSS and why to use both these menu items or options from SPSS. What's the advantage of using these? First of all, let's look at split file. Now once you click split file, you've got three options here. You can analyze all cases and do not create any groups. You can compare groups and you can organize your output by groups. Now, for example, I want to divide my file and compare the groups based on gender. So if I select gender here, compare groups, gender, and just leave the rest to default and press OK. Now, if you run an output, you will be able to compare male and female. Let's say I go to descriptives and let's say years of education and just press OK. Now here is your output. First thing male, 288 male respondents, minimum 14, maximum 18 years of education. The mean education is 16.13, so around 16. Standard deviation 1, Female, 52 female respondents and in comparison to male, their minimum education is the same as 14 and maximum is 18. Now similarly, let's say I go to analyze, correlate, bivariate and I compare how organizational commitment and its correlation with collaborative culture differs between male and female. Just press OK. Now here it is. First male and then female. Now more or less the correlation between the two is the same. So this is how you can use split file function or option to split your data and then make comparisons. Let's go back here and organize output by groups. Now what happens is nothing happens just that your format of the output changes. Now just press OK. And now let's run it. Analyze. Correlate. Bivariate, just simply press OK and look at this. Now you've got separate table for male and separate table for female. So this is how you can use split file option to make comparisons between different categorical variables and the operations that you later perform. Furthermore, you can also use it to find out any issues in your data. Let's say you've got collinearity issue. Let's assume you, you are having collinearity issues or there is very high correlation between two variables and you want to find out what could be the possible reason. So what you can do is first split your file by a group. Let's say, let's use a bigger group here. I've got one here. Let's compare groups. And let's assume my correlation was very high between two variables. Let's say those variables were organizational commitment and collaborative culture. Press OK. Now look at this. Here. The correlation is good enough for or very high or high rather for this age group. Now, for example, the correlation is high between two variables and you find out which group has a very high correlation because that might be causing issue in your data. Now, in social sciences, what happens is each of these variables are actually latent variables and they are measured using these indicators. So let's assume these are the two variables that are showing very high correlation and you want to find out where is the issue. So you actually are dividing your data into groups and identifying groups that may be causing a problem in the overall data so that you can get rid of that particular group. You can you, you can do the same operation with alpha, maybe regression or any other statistical analysis. Put it here, press OK and look at this. Now this age group, all correlations, they seem fine except for this one. Look at this, reliability 4 and 5, very high correlation. Now if we go down here and let's do it for the next age group. Two high correlations, maybe anything very high. 
not really again go down and see now this is how you can assess which particular item may be causing an issue and when you take out the correlation between for example different variables and you are having very high correlation so this is how you can split the data and assess where is the actual problem let's say i'm getting very low cron batch alpha and i'm getting it for let's say a particular variable scale reliability analysis let's say i'm getting it for vision so i may be interested in finding out where is my issue scale if item deleted press continue press ok now look at this so for all these age groups the alpha is fine it is the lowest for this age group now if you are having low alpha in this case there is no problem but if you are having low alpha you can divide your data split your file into groups and take alpha for each group and see where is the actual problem moving on let's do select cases now you can select the cases here it is for now it is all cases you can x you can have if condition if satisfied let's say if condition and let's say i want for age group let's say age is greater than 30 so i want just those respondents who have got age greater than 30 continue and if i press ok let's look at our data variable view now look at this there is a filter applied now once you select cases there is a filter applied and the filter is age greater than 30 all these age groups are less than 30 so they will not be part of further analysis further you can go to data select cases you can have random cases from your data as well go to sample how many cases do you want let's say you are doing predictive validity so you can have 67 percent training and 30 percent or 33 percent holdout sample or you can have exact number of cases as well so let's say i want 67 percent of my cases continue and if i press ok what will happen is let's go here let's go back these are cases that will not be part of further analysis now you can simply remove it as well go to trans go to data select cases and simply select all cases you can do case range as well you can use a filter variable and you can do it or move it to a new data set as well just name the data set press ok and you will have the new data set filter cases by values of filter underscore dollar sign so this is how you can filter and select cases in SPSS and that is how you can further use it thank you very much